Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Zach, otherwise known as Poppy Syntax. And today, oh, today's been a big day guys. It's Monday, Mondays, am I right? It was a big day, big day in the office. Um, fortunately, I was kept company by the over four hours worth of, uh, of content by the one, the only Miss Chantal Marie, Miss Foodie Beauty. And I've clip showed it. So a big shout out to editing Zach. I mean, that guy. Big shout out to Edit Exact because he's managed to take the four hours and 20 minutes and turn it into a 40 minute clip show. So we will be reacting to that today. Um, it is a compilation of both Bored and Beezen and What's Up, which were both streamed four and eight hours ago respectively. So with all of that being said, let's get into the video. Now, as always, we are sped up with our clip shows, this time to 1.5 times speed. And here we go. No, so many weirdos. Men just want to shove their wiener right in your face. That's all they want. It's like every stereotype of every wrong per wrong type of guy is not on all men, and they're probably on there for a friggin' reason, right? So yeah, I'm probably just gonna delete it because I'm not gonna find what I'm looking for on there. But you I are have on to there just that. Too, like, I'm just not though. going to, you know. <clears throat> it's always just like full of guys that just like want you to like show me your ass, send me your boobs, like want a video chat and do stuff. <laughs> I had a guy ask me if I could hump my pillow for him. I was like. <laughs> blocked i was so fed up i was just like oh my god tmi <laughs> i don't want to want to fucking hate one night stands like they're just not satisfying at all like i don't i can't objectify i can't objectify people like that to me like <clears throat> a person is more than just like it's like you know it's like an organic being with full of energy and stuff like yeah. that like why would you want to just like ugh, i don't know I, i'm confused about what i wanted because sometimes i do want yes. just like you know but i don't know Yes, plenty of fish is the same freaking thing. It's much better when you care sure. about a person. Yeah, All kind of the same. Like, you start dating a person and they make you laugh and they like care about you and stuff. I think that's what I want. But a I'm relationship not right now. I just have a feeling. Like my horoscope even said that twice. I checked two horoscopes. Like I said, oh. <laughs> I guess I believe in that a little bit. And I'm just not gonna find that right now. And I think it's just a sign. Like I just need to work on myself. Probably. So best. I looked at personal trainers after COVID. Ooh, I might okay. start working out with this guy. He's like a personal trainer and they have like a private gym. <clears throat> so I might like, I might work with a personal personal trainer like in a private gym. Great, great idea. I mean, I think that's a great idea. Personal trainer will kind of, you know, introduce you to exercise and workouts in a safe capacity, um, all things considered. And, great idea. Um, he's really, really, really hot. <laughs> if you ever meet him, don't ever tell him that I said that. That's not why I picked him. That's not why I picked him. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't hurt, but. I think that's what I'm going to do, you know, like right now I'm still in the early stages. I could just take walks and building up stamina for exercise and stuff like that. Sure, we've been seeing um, it. It's not common, yeah. I think it's especially like on Tinder so much worse. Like, I don't remember online dating being this horrible. Jesus. Like, when I met BB, I had plenty of fish. I met him on Plenty of Fish. I had the app for like maybe <clears throat> a week. Like, he kept like, he was in my inbox and I was just like, Ugh. like, I didn't, I didn't fancy him at the time. So, but then I finally decided to give him a chance because I was so like, his message was the only nice one, you know? Everyone else was like just giving off serial killer or perv vibes. <laughs> I don't want a relationship. Look, I have a little bit of authority when it comes to interacting on on dating apps. Been doing it for a while. Sans some long periods of relationships in my late twenties, early thirties. Um, yeah, I get it. I get it. Though, that's the thing because I'm traveling. Remember? Different, but the I'm same. You know? I want, like I want some kind of relationship with somebody, but not like a relationship relationship. Like like I told you, like a. Yeah, like a friends with benefits. We make each other laugh, we hang out, and then we have like good sex, but we don't there's no like I love you. Well, I love you, sure. But <laughs> there's no I love you or but, but uh, there is. together or shit like that. Right. You know? Better relationship. Well, I can't travel with me because I'm gonna be like exploring the world of men in different countries. <laughs> sure. That's what I'm gonna do. Sure. Situationship. Sure. Yeah. You guys need to write to TLC right now and tell them Foodie Beauty has an idea for a show. It's called and it's <laughs> <laughs> no one needs to do that. Is this like not? Mm. There we go. It was like barely on. Hi, Santa. <clears throat> so. Buttons. That's that. No love life for me. My French lover. I think I've just like any French guys I've ever like met or been with were like. Um, they just like knew like how to woo a woman like so good like so romantic and 
passionate, passionate lovers. It's almost like she just just sticks on these stereotypes, huh? Almost. Uh, Disney movie? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, Cinderella, maybe? I don't know. I kept that in for Rest Disney. Are more... <laughs> I know. Some jerks are so hot, like... Mm. Sometimes you're just like, all right, be abusive, you're too hot, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, that's, I, I don't ever want to think that way. I used to think that way. Like, I used to be like, well, this guy's so hot, I just want to touch him, and I'll just let him be abusive to me. You know? Not okay. I don't like guys to treat me bad. I don't know, it's almost like a game. Sometimes, like, no I'd like to see if I could get a guy to, like, like me. You know what I mean? Like, a guy who's just, like, seems to be a womanizer and doesn't like women. Part of you, it's like a pride thing. You want to try to make them like you and be different than everyone else, you know? That's a lot to unpack. Not authorized. Probably talk it through with a therapist. But that's such a stupid thing to do. It never, never works. You can't, I don't know, it just never works. <sighs> they bring flowers and pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it's better to be single than have someone treat you. Yes. Aries like the chase. Yeah, it's fine a bit, you know? Anyways, so I need somebody like suit like like that, and that's really toxic. I know. No. So that's why, since my ad, my outlook on dating and men and everything is just like not working, it's toxic, it's not healthy right now with what I'm going through. So the responsible thing for me to do would be to delete these applications and yeah. just go back to focusing on me for the next forever. But I mean, especially like try to work towards some goals. Yes, I think that's sensible. Because I've just been like escaping reality like every single day, <laughs> like because you know. I'm not going to say it's it's a fact, but yes, it does seem as if Foodie has been exercising some element of escapism. Recently, it has been showcased in let me spend hours online with my echo chamber and participate in the weeds. But I don't know. It's fine. I'm in a really weird mood. That's all. And then I'll do what do you like... do. I don't think I'll read. But I would like a vlog. <laughs> all Tinder. Tinder is just like, wow. Like, even if I wanted to just hook up and be sexual, like, the way men are so aggressive about it, you know? Like, they don't even, they don't even care what your name is. Like, and, like, they don't care. So it's just, like, how, like, that makes you feel like shit, even though it's just a hookup. I Tinder exists, and all of these apps, apps, sorry, exist for specific purposes. They are marketed as such. Um, is it polite to at least get to know someone's name? Yeah. Is it, is it always going to happen? No. Should you take it personally? No. <laughs> just realize that that is the environment and keep it pumping, I guess. I guess, like, like I said, I've discovered I'm not into that. I can't do that because it's too impersonal and it's not, impersonal is not sexy to me. I thought it would be, I thought it would be hot. I thought it would be fun, but it's intimidating and it's scary and just not good. Responsible is boring. No, I don't, Keon Reese. Not really, honestly. Tinder is just for hookups. You need to work on you. It can be. You can yeah. meet people, but, you know. But I'm not getting any... Again, it's transparency. It's being honest with what you want. Those things are important. You know, so I feel rushed. I feel like, who the hell is going to want... I have dudes who are 27 on these apps telling me they're into older women. Oh, my fucking God. Like, what is going on? Oh, my God. I'm an old fucking woman. Like, I'm into older women. Chantel, you're 37. A 27-year-old saying you they are into... Older women, yes. Technically, you are older than 27. So, but, you know, remember when you were, like, using age as, like, some some kind of hateful, like, status? It's like, no. Age happens. We all age. It just happens. We deal with it. It's not something to, like, hurl at people. It's just a reality that we live in. <laughs> Can you believe that? Thank you, Tia. It's just like, uh, and it's same for me, like rejecting people too. Like it's a two-way street, but it sucks. Yeah. Well, no one likes to be rejected, but I, I don't know, Con. <coughs> when you know you're going to be compatible, you know, when you know you're not going to be, you know, that's rejection. <coughs> it's okay. And there's all the looks anyway. Swipe left. Right. Yeah, I know. You're more experienced. Gorgeous. <coughs> oh, thank you, Rhett. Emmy Benjamin, any luck with your Phoebe? <laughs> what is that an actual thing? Thank you, Emily. I appreciate it. And no, no luck. <laughs> oh wait, what is Phoebe? I might sign up for that one. Seriously. Who knows?
<laughs> That's what I'm wondering. <clears throat> feeder? Oh, it's for feeders. Feeder fetish. What about taking a language class? Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Thank you, Miss Patricia. Serendipitous Sarah. Hello. <laughs> it's a feeder website. Oh. It was... Uh, look, it was mentioned, and then people clarified it twice. That. Hi, Nidhi. That. Exercise and vegetables, how boring, yeah. I got it from Torrid. I love watching your lives. Thank you, JC. Chicken and broccoli. Yes. <coughs> Maybe today's been a little rough. Um... Editing's active keep, keep in pretty much all of the vaping and coughing for a very obvious point. <laughs> yeah, no. It's just kind of a, like a weird vibe today, I guess. Same. You know, but I'm okay. Yeah, I'm feeling okay. I'm all right. I'm good, just a little situation. tired. There is no situation. <laughs> it sucks. Priest! I wish there was some kind of situation going on, but there's not. Well, so I ordered fucking, I ordered cheese, double cheeseburger meal and a score McFlurry. To clarify, I did cut out a little bit before this. I'm um, sorry, editing deducted. So last night she had chicken and salad and she hated it. So she ended up getting McDonald's. And all I could stomach was, I ate the whole burger. It was like just a double, like a McDouble. Just. And mm -hmm. half the fries and half the McFlurry. It was like a kitty snack size McFlurry. So that's what I had. I don't know what strain it is. I'm pretty sure it's a hybrid. Real good for the lungs, vaping. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Asthma. <coughs> Hey, oh, we talk. It's like I'm here for now. That, that so too. I'm just still two things. updated like my profile. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm trying. I'm on a weight loss journey, so I need some sex exercise, <laughs> which is true. Like that would be a fun way to lose weight. But... It's honest and transparent. Anyways, I'm just. Like... But you're also looking for a relationship, so I don't know. I'm just like talking By to the people, sense. and like I start assumption. talking to people, and just never goes anywhere. Just like either they like we both just lose interest. I think at the same time, like for most of them. So besides Nicola, there was only, um, mm. sorry, there was only. Um, Maybe like one or two other dudes that I like, as like Lewis would say, fancied, and I fancied more enough to give a crap. And there's a few. There's so many. There's so many scammer catfishes. There's these people. Oh my god, they're yeah. dumb. This one guy I started talking to. You, he was so nice. Like he was so nice. I can tell if they're like too lovey dovey. Like it's usually catfish. Like, and he he was like, I was like, so are you a Caucasian? Like I just want to know what your ethnicity is. He said he's Caucasian. I asked him to send me a voice. So this is my this is what I do from now on to make sure they're not catfish. Send me a selfie of you like right now. Mm -hmm. like you know you're holding fingers up or whatever uh video chat at least for a minute mm -hmm. send me a voice note this guy's voice note he had the thickest accent from i don't even know the fuck where but it was a thick accent it, you're not like it was like <sighs> it didn't match his picture okay so i was just like no he's a catfish and so i kept asking him to uh, video chat me and he was like um i don't know what accent it was but um yeah he wouldn't do it. He had like an excuse. So I just blocked him. Yeah, whatever meant to be will be. I, I just have a feeling I'm just meant to work, focus on myself. You know, this is hoping for like a little bit of side fun, but I don't really want to just settle. Like I'm not like if I'm not, not going to get what I'm looking for, it'll just make me feel more like shit. And you know what? It takes a lot of attention and energy put into like meeting up with people or getting to know people that that like I don't really have the time. Like it does, and there's a lot of things co to consider there, like the state of the world in 2021. Um, but also, like, if you have a career, if you work, if you have, you know, family or dependents, all of those things are going to impact the amount of time you have in general, um, and definitely impact kind of your priorities when it comes to the relationships um, that you want to build in your life. Now, I mean, I think foodie's got a bit of time, but... You know, I, I don't really have the time. Like, I have a lot to be focusing on and improving my life. I have a lot of things I need to buckle down and do. Like, there's things that I don't really talk to you guys about, like, in my personal life that, <clears throat> you know, I don't tell you every single thing. Even though I do tell you a lot, <laughs> you know? But, um, Stony Bologna. Stony, <laughs> nice, Carly. I need to focus on my Europe trip. Yeah. I don't have, I don't really have time for men, no. Because when you think about it, whenever you, like, get into something with somebody... You have to like, you know, make the time to go see them, especially a relationship. Like there's no way I have time for that because when I think of like when I got in my relationship with BB, it was so time consuming. That's like all I did. I was like, I would work and after work, it would be BB, 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 BB. <laughs> Whether it's like texting all single night, like all night long or driving after work at like midnight, I would drive up to like Ottawa just to see him and like spend the night there. Or I used to like spend the night there and then like 
leave super early. I'd have to go to work. I'd have to like get ready to go to work or whatever sometimes, you know? It's a good thing she's her own boss now. She could make that work. Yeah, it's better to do it um, single, yeah. <clears throat> For sure. Mm. Okay. Oh, we're back. I feel like I have a table here. Ow, my butt. It's better than a kitchen I have an Aha, sparkling watermelon lime. <clears throat> Excellent. Marinara sauce. Oh, no. And... Two matzo cheese sticks. So Not okay. I'm craving. I've been craving mozzarella sticks so bad. <laughs> straight cheese with marinara. Yeah. So get a dipping bowl. <laughs> Just straight in the jar. I can't within the jar. <coughs> Hello. Oh god, yeah, I can't smoke anymore. Well, probably a good idea to not smoke anymore. Oh, hold on. I need my inhaler pretty bad. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, prob yeah. S stop doing that. I would recommend. Who the fuck am I? Not a professional, but as a kid with asthma, probably not a gr great idea. Hello. Yeah, I'm not vaping. My breathing has been worse since that, so <clears throat> if I do any of that, I'll just be eating the edibles. Food went through. They had like, I don't know, they were closing, so I feel bad, but. I don't think she feels Or chicken parm's on. And it comes with salad and bread, I think. Great. So yes. Protein, fats, and carbs. Delicious. You get off early, I'm on a live stream. I was approved for, I was approved for early leave at 8.15. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I still got stuck until fucking closing. Uh -oh. That sucks. And it came down to me telling the customer, this is what I can do. This is what I can do. Mm -hmm. No, I can't do that. This is what I can do. This is what I can do. When I keep saying this is what I can do, take the fucking hint and recognize that this is what I can do. <laughs> that I can't do, what you, that if I could do what you're asking me to do, I wouldn't be stuck here an hour and a half into your fucking call. I would have done what you wanted me to do, but I can't. So just take the fucking answer. Do you have to yell? Yes! I'm angry! God, the customer, customers are just sometimes just so fucking annoying. Like, yeah. they think that if, that there's some way <laughs> of is. convincing you to just, like, do something that you've said you can't do. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, at least. 99 times out of 100. When the agent is saying, I can't do that, they can't do it. Yeah. Hi, Sam. Hey, Sam. Anyways, I ordered supper. I don't know when it will be here, but... At some point. Very awkward. Chicken parmesan. Which order me? Chicken parmesan? You like chicken parmesan? Yeah. You don't like it? Okay. It's okay? Hi, Sam! I think Pete should should go talk to someone. He seems he seems to get a little upset. Never recognized that trait in Pete's before. But he he sounded a little aggravated. Maybe I should recommend he go and speak to someone as well. It has cheese on it. <laughs> yeah, but I've made it before and he's eaten it, so. Well, that's different. Uh -huh. How'd you, how you make it? Yeah. I'll let you know when it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Hi, Sam. Come here, Sam. He's following you. Oh, hi, Sam. <laughs> Joe. Well, or... No. Just checking. <laughs> yeah, but this chicken parm that I'm ordering is going to be better. It's from a really good please <laughs> i hate when people yell i fucking hate it like same. really bad same anxiety like, like when i was a kid i was always around like Through the roof. i think my dad yelled a lot mine so too he yelled at me a lot so i hate when a man yells it didn't just yell at me yell. just was very loud but anyways i feel that though chicken how was your shrimp by pasta there andreas <clears throat> oh melanie thanks i thought i can just come and hang out with you guys Thanks, Brad. You know, been hanging out a lot, yeah, foodie. Like, yeah, lot. Brett. I know. I know it is, but <clears throat> hi, stranger with candy. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to vape. 
Sorry, that was like total fucking habit. Oh my god. That I totally forgot that I made that. I was not gonna smoke anymore. It just calms me a bit. Not gonna say transference, but right. <laughs> no. It's really nice to see you taking care of yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying taking care of myself. You know, it's not always easy, but you know, I could eat healthier food. That's for sure. Yes. Yes. Because yes. Are we allowed to say that now? Are we allowed to say that now? Foodie said it. Can we say it now? Um, you know, <laughs> depends on your tolerance, Sarah. Like, if you have never done it, I would start with 10 milligrams and wait an hour. Uh, and then if it doesn't work, take another one. Take I take about no 60, advice but from that's my foodie. tolerance level now. 60, the first time I did 60, the first time I, okay, my tolerance was, was like 10 or 20, and I took like 60 all at once, and then I greened it right out. I was just like freaking out. So if that happens and you green out, you just go in your bed. You'll feel safe in your bed, and you'll just pass out and wake up, you know. <clears throat> the tolerance shouldn't change that quick. Well, I don't know. It like did. It's weird. Because I was able to like, you know, take more and more. I, well, I haven't walked every single day, but my stamina is better for exercise and activity. That's good. And I haven't been eating as much as I used to. So, yeah, I think the injection did help too, for sure. It, you know? Yeah, probably. And doing you know, the times where I do feel more hungry, I, whenever I do feel hungry, I eat. Like, I just eat. Like, I allow myself to eat stuff that I want. But within reason, you know, like I feel like okay, like Mac is. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just kind of not really thinking about it. I'm not thinking about food anymore as much as I used to. Um, she brings it up a little bit later, but she probably should. Again, just a guy who lost some weight on the internet. Who the fuck am I? But like, just consistent takeout. It's the same conversation we had with Amber when she admitted to getting takeout for a year. It's like. You are talking about nutrients just as much as you are calories. Um, and, you know, you should just eat healthy. My God. <laughs> yeah. You want to eat healthy food too. You need your nutrition, you know? It's not just all about food. Is not The purpose of food is not just calories. It's nutrients too, you know? Correct. Yeah, I think the lives do help somewhat. It's like an outlet for me, you know? I can just turn this on and talk to people. Yeah, there's a reliance issue there, I think. But that's just me. Baby bite. <laughs> Carbohydrates. I'm tell them how much there is in my parcel today, remember? Mm -hmm. I'm like, can you check if there's anything at the door while he was down there? And I was upstairs. And he's like, there was no parcel, but there was an envelope. And I'm like, ooh, an envelope. And I forgot that I ordered. Like, So I'm like, is it edibles? So he opens it. He's like, it's lube. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I died. So he brought, he's like, here's your lube. Hilarious. No, I don't regret ordering. Good night. The only noise I want to hear out of her is. Shout out, Hazir. The only noise I ever want to hear out of Casey. Nobody cares. <laughs> okay, I'm going to my bed. Okay. Pete has a Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Trojan, water based, sensitive touch infused with aloe and vitamin E. Sensitive touch. Ooh. That sounds good to me. Fragrance dye and paraben free. My food was from a Italian restaurant from Little Italy called La Dolce Vita. I think if I go to Italy, I'll be so excited for the food, but actually, no, I'm not really. Yeah, I want to try the food, but like not pig out on it, you know, have like real authentic stuff. She has a fascination with authentic food and I don't understand. But I want to try more than pasta because they probably have like Mediterranean food is more than just like pasta and pizza, you know, or like Italian yes. food is more than pasta and pizza. Yes. They have different stuff. Yes. And as a note, um, Canadian cuisine is more than poutine. Just gonna throw that one out into the universe and hopefully, hopefully. You hate Windsor. I know. I kind of moved to that. Toronto. My town is boring too. I don't really want to. I want to like travel. Honestly, I'm just. I think that's what's bugging me. I just feel so like bored and unfulfilled. I get. I get stages like that in my life. Like I just can't. Like that's why when people say like buy a house and do this, I don't like. To me, a house is an anchor. I don't know. I just can't. I need to like get healthier and in, in better shape. And sure. I really just want to like be free. You know. That's that's also a lot to unpack. And I've been thinking more and more about like what Foodie has shown up over the last four or five years on the channel. Um, even pre-COVID, like we didn't see an international trip. I mean, we did see a trip over the border to get Sonic that, that time. But like, it's all kind of this chat and great aspirations that continuously kind of go nowhere. It's, it's great to have a goal and it's great to have a dream, but you got to like make progress towards those things, I guess. Um, 
you know, originally it was Jamaica and then it was Dominican Republic in the mid- middle of 2020. And now it's, you know, seeing Europe for 2022. Again, it's good to have goals, but like, uh, I, don't know. I don't know. I would Maybe grind just, on him and I don't just keep know, it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, Justin Trudeau is so hot. Oh. He's looking haggard these days. Probably politics will do that to you. Fuck, I would never want to be prime minister. <laughs> yeah, don't talk about Italian stallions right now. Mm. I still haven't freaking mm-hmm. had any kind of male attention that I wanted. Not the right kind. <sighs> Daydreaming, leave me alone. Mm-hmm. You want to know what I'm d- fantasizing about? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. I still have a Tinder, but I'm going to probably delete it soon. That's what I think. But somebody just messaged me. Somebody I've been wanting to talk to, so... When I get off of here, I'm going to have to message this person back. I think he said he's... Something mixed with, like, Southeast Asian. Which I don't even know what that means. Oh, Persian. And Southeast Asian. He's really hot. <laughs> oh, Here we go again. Hi, Pop Smear! I'm sorry. Is my hormonal yeah. gushings annoying? Because it's going to happen, I think, again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you guys remember vlogs? I would really like a vlog. <laughs> over and over and over. I miss vlogs. I just got a whole bunch of photos. Should I check them? <sighs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. This man is beautiful. Beautiful. Uh-huh. No dick pics. Well, you know. Wait, he just messaged me. I said, wow, you're so gorgeous. And then he wrote, yes, right? Actually hilarious, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just going to tell him I'll be back. I don't think I should talk to him because he's hot and uh, <laughs> he is, oh, he's got a nice body. Mm-hmm. He's, kind of, he's muscular, like, oh, naturally, like, and he's got. I want to know what foodie means when she says he's naturally muscular. What does that mean, foodie? What does naturally muscular mean to you? Thick, thick, beautiful black hair oh, and beautiful eyes. Oh, my God. He's got those, like, I don't know if it's like, you know, those type of men from, like, different cultures that have like dark eyelashes and they look makes them have and like really brown eyes kind of like zane a corner of the internet has taken to call this new man zane (laughs) but with an e just to differentiate from one direction i need my lube oh man i might have to go to the bathroom i just i should i just need some like honestly if i could just drink water most of the day i would i don't feel good anymore when i eat stuff and it, it i Probably the is. I don't know if that's normal. Well, your doctor should have told you. But even just after, well, you should have asked. Well, you should ask now. I'm gonna have some mango. So she was gonna go to bed, and then we got another live stream. Here it is. Some juicy, juicy mangoes. The one I had to get up. The one I got off live stream and was messaging. It was going so perfect. Like he just all of a sudden sent me a supposed selfie of him in bed, face, Mm -hmm. and then he sent me like all these like really hot sexual gifs like really hot ones like people kissing passionately and men groping women and vice versa is that a thing <laughs> i have never experienced that is that a thing someone tell me if that's a thing and then he sent me that's not how i flirt <laughs> that's in sexy but gifts face. and then we made plans to hang out like he was gonna come get me tonight and then we made plans to hang out tomorrow and then i'm it's like very so- sudden I'm just thinking, like, it just seems too good to be true, because this guy is, like, yeah. a fucking 12 out of 10. He's, like, oh, my God. I'm telling you, perfect face, perfect, perfect body. Like, six-pack and, like, packed and just, like, so hot and nice. And, oh, yeah, I love just making out. How do you know if he's nice? How do you how do you know? Oh, and, so, anyway, I just, like, being really nice. And, Don't you know. know. You're so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And then, um. Uh-huh. So, he gave you compliments, which makes him nice. Okay. That's one of the guys horny, by the way. And, um. Adding things to the list. Also, so, you. Um, then I ask him, like, I'm like, I do this as a precaution just because I've been catfished so many times 
is there any way you could send me a selfie of you right now holding up three fingers? And he was like, no, LOL. It's a ghost. It's not a oh, ghost. Where is from? So, okay, where was I? So, when I, and then I said, why not? Why can't you send me that? And he's like, he's like, uh, because it's embarrassing. I'm like, why is it embarrassing? Well, it is he's a like, little, but. And then I'm like, or can, can we video chat? Precautions. Like I do the same. And then he's like, we can do that. Abby face. So I tried, so I tried calling him nothing. Um, then I sent him a series of messages, nothing. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so fucking sick of it. So, but the thing is, it's like on WhatsApp, it says last seen at 1218 midnight. So he hasn't looked at it, but there's only one check mark instead of the two. So is he not getting my messages or what? He didn't block because I could still see his picture when he was last online. I don't Airplane know, mode, phone maybe turned off. Lots okay, of maybe things. Maybe he me because I asked him for that? Probably. Why are you shocked? <laughs> oh my God, really? <laughs> no, he wanted me to come over. Like we had plans. And then when I asked him for that. That's not really how th that. The selfie, he freaked out. I don't think that's a plan. I'm signed up to these delivery services. I forget that I fucking signed up for. <laughs> so I was signed up for HelloFresh. I was signed mm -hmm. up for Good Food Canada. Mm -hmm. So I thought that I'd skipped. I forgot about the Good Food. I, forget, <laughs> I didn't skip this week. Whoops. So a box Whoops. arrives at my door today. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Good food. But the thing is, is because I didn't know about it, I didn't get to pick the menu. <sighs> so that was like a bunch of fucking meals. I don't even know if we're going to like. I know Pete's won't like most of them. I don't think any of the HelloFresh has been used so far, so that is currently in the fridge or in the bin because we haven't seen it on the channel. And although Chantel will say we don't see everything, I'm feeling pretty confident with, that we see a lot at the moment. Um, so now a second delivery food service is going to decay in the fridge. Very one good. of them is like pork chops. <laughs> you might eat that one. I look sad. I'm just disappointed in being let down again and again and again and again. Maybe I should, that's why I should delete these apps, but at the same time, I'm just like, I have so much energy <laughs> and I just want to have a good time. Go make yourself happy, mate. The really hot guy who's super silly. I don't know anybody like that. They're usually really serious about themselves, you know? <sighs> We're just like a super, super hot guy, like, to be interested in a fat girl. You know what I mean? So. Oh. Perhaps you need foodie look girl. Perhaps you need to reevaluate your expectations in the online dating sphere. Just it's all well and good to want the hottest person in the world. Sure. But like maybe you need to reevaluate that. Maybe just to like just come come back down to reality and just you know Perhaps not expect it. <clears throat> I'm into like, f like exotic men, like men from, not from here. <laughs> I mean, they have to be taller than me. I don't like beards either. What's wrong with okay, the beard? Not ideal, but it's like gonna be like every ideal. So like, dramatic eyebrows, dramatic dark eyes, I do beautiful have hair, like black I do hair. Have... Yeah. With a little bit of a wave in it. Well, Could a little. Sort of long. Um, clean shaven, super clean shaven, mm -hmm. nice lips. I mean, chiseled features. Well, um, the cheekbones are coming out. <laughs> <It's also shallow. laughs> she really Never does. mind. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't I don't like blonde. I don't not really like blonde men, but I'm not opposed to it. I don't mind some tattoos. Depends on the guy, I guess. Ideal type inspired by Disney Prince. <laughs> yeah. At this comment, I said Prince Eric, and I called it. We'll see in a bit. You should focus on personality before looks. Yes. I know. You know, I always fantasize about these men, but then I always go for people with personality. Like, initially you go with what you're attracted to, and then the personality sucks you in. And sometimes, you're right, I should maybe be more open-minded because I might find somebody who's not Prince Eric, but their personality is just amazing. Call that. I'm not afraid of getting hurt. Well, yeah. I think you've... I've already been hurt a couple of times. Well, like... Uh, I'm not going to say allowing yourself to be hurt in, like, the the stages where foodie is kind of walking us through isn't valid. Your feelings are valid, regardless. I just think that you need to perhaps not expose yourself a little bit more, but just understand and temper your expectations when it comes to the online dating sphere. And understand that for the majority of people, the large majority of people on these platforms, 
It's really not that deep. It's not. Is there dishonesty? Yes. Are there catfishes? Yes. Is the best approach to come at looking for someone with an open and honest discussion? Yes, I think so. So it's hard if you sit here and say, I don't know what I want to find someone and expect them to give you what you want if you don't know what you want. Imagine if I am already getting hurt by these like Tinder hookups, how bad it's going to hurt. Like if you I actually click with somebody like for real, you know? Yeah, it's Thanks, frightening. No matter what happens, I'm, I'm loving this vibe that I'm on. <clears throat> and I look forward to getting up and challenging myself every day, you know? Okay. Okay, well, there we go. We've got Chantel's update for the day. Oh, guys, these are getting harder and harder to watch. Not only are they getting harder, harder, harder and harder, rather, to react to as well, because all of the conversations are cyclical. The same thing is being said four or five times. It's not that the content is necessarily boring. It's just so long. These conversations could be happening in 20 to 25 minute vlogs, but they're chosen not to be. So we have to do ridiculous things like, like this. We don't have to, but we, I enjoy doing it personally. <laughs> um, all right. So the foodie update, I suppose. Nicholas is officially out of the picture. We've got Zane now entering as a challenger, which is fine. Pete seems real mad and should probably find someone to talk to in a professional capacity. Um, because, again, like sees like. I understand being angry about work. <laughs> um, but that was just a lot to catch on a live stream. What else? Um, Chantel continues to objectify men, um, continues to stereotype individuals, and is now set in the dream of Eurobees in 2021 will be a Euro fitness. Great. Bring it on. I mean, props to you, mama. I hope you can get it. But um, more curiously now, I'm interested in invest investigating, just interested in looking at and understanding the relationship with the audience, the reliance on the audience for ass pats to health, um, because I don't think that's a great way of doing it. Is there a benefit in motivating other people? Absolutely, yes. Is there a issue with relying on that as a form of motivation? I think so, yes. I think it should come from within, but a chat for a different time, I guess. Thank you so much if you got to this point in the video. As always, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs, and I will see you in the next video and or live stream. Bye!